narrated roles from our 6 a.m. class this morning. First, uh, classic guard break. Get the lapels together with my right hand, grab his sleeve with my left hand so he can't grab my foot when I stand up. Get the knees together, break the guard open, pass the leg into side control. Uh, we had to move because we were about to bump into some people. So we start over from standing here. Um, I fake a takedown here just to keep him on his toes. Now I'm trying to set up an arm drag takedown, but I'm just kind of filling him out, seeing where his weight is. Um, I thought he was going to mess up and give me a judo throw here. So uh, I kind of felt it. No, he had a good base. So now I set up the arm drag. Look, I got it, but right here I stopped because I thought I heard him. Uh, we had a lot of shin to shin and shin to knee contact. It was, it was pretty hard, and I thought I heard him. Uh, he was fine, so once I realized that, I start working my over-under pass. So I need to get this arm under his leg. The other arm is over his leg, and I start working it. Uh, and I ended up, I did get the pass, but we went uh, out of the camera, and we had to start over. So here, I let him start on top because I want this. Committed arm sweep. I love it, man. It's my thing. I love that committed arm sweep. I go straight to the north-south choke. I looked at the camera there. That was kind of funny. So once I get it, just like in my video with Wrigley, I'm too high right there. But watch my hips. I scoop back into the slot, finish the choke. I love that choke. I know. We reset, and he's talking about I got that committed arm sweep again. I've got him with that a bunch. Okay, so now. New guy, watch this, boom. He's a new, young, strong, aggressive white belt, but he doesn't know anything about jiu-jitsu yet. So that all I had to do is pull his front foot forward and trip him, that was easy. I could have passed his guard here, but I was just kind of letting him work. And he did a really good job right there, getting his leg around. We went out of bounds, so we, we started back over. Okay, so now this time, again, I'm just gonna kind of let him work. And all I'm trying to do here is set up a basic scissor sweep. So if you'll watch, I get his lapel grip with my right hand. I trap his right arm so he doesn't have a post. Knee shield. It's kind of a modified knee shield, but I got him with it. Okay. So now um, we're starting over here. Uh, I submitted him again, but I, I cut that out. Um, so here I'm just going to pull myself under him and start working that lockdown i love the lockdown i've been working a lot so right here if you see i've got his foot entangled he cannot get his foot away so i've got him locked in i'm gonna work my arm triangle but he's doing a really good job here of holding on to my lapel which is great for a new guy and i complimented him on that so what i'm trying to do now is get him to reach across with his left hand and he does right there right but look Whenever I go for it, he does a good job of pulling his arm back. So I said, okay, I'll just go on the other side. So I lock in the arm triangle on the other side, squeeze it, and he taps. Now, like so many of us when we started right here, he's going to talk about, listen. There's so many ways to choke people. He says, there's more ways to choke people than I even knew existed. <laughs> Haven't we all felt like that way? So right here, I just kind of slide in and I'm gonna work my over under pass. Um, I've kind of let him work a little bit. Now I'm gonna see if he can keep me from passing with this over under pass. So once again, I gotta get the right arm under his leg. The left arm is over on the other side. I reach back, grab his pant leg. I shoot it down and step around for the guard pass. I love that pass. Okay, now, whole different ball game here. This guy's young, strong, aggressive, former college athlete, MMA fighter. I don't want to fight for the takedown with him today because Wednesday's my off day. Uh, all I want is that lockdown. So look, I get the lockdown, right? But he and I have rolled together a lot. He knows I'm trying to use that lockdown to set up the uh, arm triangle. So he's, he's working aggressively to get away from my lockdown. And I kind of let it go right here and he passes my guard. Now look, I'm setting up my committed arm sweep. It's my thing, right? I love it, but watch this guy's base. His base is so good, look. Uh, now here's the problem. When you go for the committed arm sweep, look, my arm is over there. So I, if you don't get it, you can be in trouble here, right? So I go to turtle and I'm just trying to be safe and kind of think about what I want to do here. Um, 
He's got good control from the top. Um, I start to go to my back, but he's got a really good bear hug, which kept me from getting my shoulders to the mat. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of chilling. I'm waiting, you know, to make sure I don't get in trouble. Now, you'll see here, I feel right here, he's going for the arm triangle. So look, I answer the phone. That's the oldest defense in the book, but it works. I put my right hand to my ear, just like I'm answering the phone. It gets my arm between me and him. There's no way he can finish that choke. Now, he could be a jerk, and he could squeeze so hard that it becomes a neck crank, and I would probably tap because I don't want my neck hurt, but he realizes, he, he's a great training partner. He realizes he doesn't have the choke, so he just comes back up to the top, kind of resets, right? now. Here I go again, I'm gonna try this committed arm sweep. So I'm sort of filling him out. I'm seeing where his weight is. I set it up and I'm gonna go for it here, so watch. Right here, I try it again and I don't get it. But look, see how my arm, I've committed that arm. That's why it's called a committed arm sweep, right? So I'm in trouble because I didn't get it. Now I feel like he's gonna go for the arm triangle again. So I'm ready to defend it, right? I'm just, I'm just waiting, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna answer the phone again, right? I'm getting ready, but then, he jumps back over. That kind of threw me for a loop. I'm like, what? So he comes back to mount. By the way, if we were in a match, he would be way up on points. Now watch what I do here. What a dumb move. I reached around his head, gave him that arm, and he capitalized. So right here, he, he's setting up a straight arm bar, but look, he's gonna slide the blade of his forearm under my tricep and put all that weight on it. Tricep crusher. Tricep crusher. Okay, now this guy, he's a black belt. He's good at takedowns, but watch this. Um, he's gonna pull to an arm bar, but I felt it. I connected my hands for extra strength, Pull the elbow past the fulcrum, I'm safe. Now, all I wanna do is keep his leg against my ear so I can pass his guard, but watch his left hand. Look at that. He framed and then he shrimp. Now watch this, I'm gonna try to knee cut, and boom, he stops the knee cut. He's ready for everything, right? So now he sets up a balloon sweep. So you're gonna see he's gonna pick me up in the air. Once he got me up in the air, once I realized he wasn't gonna finish the balloon sweep, I knew he was going for the arm bar, so I connect my hands and I get back to safety. Now right here, I think I'm safe. He's, he's got me in a triangle, but I'm gonna stack him, right? Well, he <laughs> snuck that arm bar in and I was too late to stop it. It was tight. But he is a black belt, okay? No shame in tapping. So now look, I didn't really want that takedown. All I wanted was this. I wanted this lockdown again. So I'm trying to get my feet in place. Boom, there we go, I got the lockdown. Now watch, I'm gonna take his lapel. I'm gonna 